Hey, everybody. We're here to talk about the new uh, Gillette ad. Isn't that exciting? It was Becca Tagani. Yes, and we have this great cactus behind us for masculinity. That's right. It wouldn't be the same without the cactus. Hey, it took effort setting up the shot. I hope you appreciate it. So uh, I, I don't, I don't, I don't even. It's like I, I feel like it would, the mature thing to do would be to assume that uh, that it, it wasn't specifically made this ad just to push buttons and piss everyone off and create a shitstorm and get tons of free advertising. And to assume that maybe, just maybe, they actually thought they were putting out a positive message. You know what I'm saying? Because because I think that there are some people, even some friends of mine, who've seen the video and, and thought, oh, yeah, well, no, they're trying to say, you know, don't bully and don't get into fights and be a, be a better person. And if that really was the message, I'd be like, yeah, that's great. That's great. But that's not what I see when I see the video. Um like literally the video opens up it's a bunch of dudes and then in the background you hear some news and they're talking about the me too movement sexual harassment and bullying so you know like i didn't go to propaganda school or anything but you don't have to be too clever to understand that the visual that you're seeing is linked to the audio that you're hearing and that's how the, that's how they link things together or they play a certain music and show you a certain image and then they get you to you know, they program you to believe that um so what they're saying is Men are responsible. Men are sexual harassers and bullies. That's what they're saying. They're linking us to, to to being rapists in the opening, and it's not subtle. It's completely direct. There's no there's no subtlety about it. There's no even misunderstanding that if you're just aware of how jet marketing works. I mean, that's that's how propaganda works. It's not even marketing. It's propaganda. Um, so and then the movie goes on. And we're we're made to like first of all like the, the the scenes don't even make sense. A lot of them don't even really make sense. Like some kids being chased by some other kids. Okay, so don't don't chase after kids. Don't to, to okay, but maybe they're just having fun. Like what we don't even know what that means. We don't even know, know what, what's happening. Um, and then there, there's a scene where like kids are like play fighting. There's kids play fighting. They're not even unha It's not like one kid's pounding the other face with a brick and his nose is bleeding and then they break up. No, you can see the fight's been going on. Fight. They've been play fighting for a while and then eventually someone's like, wait, well, you could see it. There's other kids in the background watching it, just totally chilling. Well, I'm getting to that comment. I'm getting to that comment. So, so, so there's kids that just that are clear. You can see if you pause it, the kid on the bottom is smiling. So don't so don't play fight. Yeah, and then and then and then and then yeah, they say boys will be boys. A bunch of dudes uh, barbecuing. So yeah, boy boys will be boys, and 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 there's nothing wrong with play fighting. There's nothing wrong with 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 being a boy, and and, and that and that's literally what they're saying. They're saying it. A, a bo oh, boys will be boys. Boys will be boys. Like there's something wrong with it. Well, there isn't. There isn't anything wrong with being a boy. And, and then there's a bunch of dudes barbecuing. There's, but wait, that's a classic scene. I really liked all the guys at their barbecues. Did you? <laughs> Did you? But I mean, but 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 what's that? Toxic barbecuing now? Like what? What are, what are they? What are they saying? Like they're, they've taken away everything. You can't swear. You can't make sexual. You can't even hit on girls anymore. Are they taking away our barbecues too? Are they taking away our barbecues too? The whole thing. The whole thing is stupid. There's a guy. There's a scene where, where a dude, uh, a white guy. Is about to go talk to a girl who walks who walks by who's who's looking good, and then and then his black friend's like, no, no, not cool, not cool. Okay, I don't even want to I don't even want to bring this up, but really, the black guy's the one trying to start the white stop the white guy. Y'all need to do some research about your stereotypes, okay, guys? Because y'all y'all have it backwards. Um, I think the whole ad's actually backwards in, in a lot of ways, but I don't even want to go into the whole thing because it would be pointing out a lot of racial stuff that uh, that's just not fun anymore. Um, so, you know what? You know what? You know what's not okay? If you ask me, uh, not okay is a, a whole freaking generation of men who are too terrified of rejection, just 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 completely demasculated to the point where they can't actually go and talk to a girl. So that guy's actually a real man. A guy who's actually sees a woman and goes, "I'm gonna go talk to her." That's a real man. That's what you're supposed to do. That's normal. Fifty years ago, that's normal. Your dad would call, would be like, "What are you gay? You can't even go over and say hi to a girl now." And there's a difference between that and and what what everybody's doing online dating, getting drunk, all this kind of stuff. No, that guy should get a medal. You're actually gonna go say talk to a girl. Good for you. You deserve a prize. The question becomes, how do you do it? Obviously, there's bad ways you can go over there and be like, "Hey, nice ass, sweetheart." No, that's not 
obviously there's finesse and there's 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 respect and knowing where she's at know where they can go for that kind of thing. yeah obviously obviously after 10 years of teaching guys how to talk to girls you know you can you can check out my older videos but like but there's nothing wrong with that and they're literally programming go oh yeah no don't talk to women we all every single person on the planet exists because at some point a man went and talked to a woman that's a fact so if that stops happening, we're in a really bad situation. So and program people are already terrified and programming men to believe, oh no, 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 don't don't go talk to her. Well, that's horrible. That's horrible. It's it's terrible programming. And I haven't even brought up the whole toxic masculinity thing, but you know what? I'm gonna pass it over to Becca. Oh, oh wait, wait, Becca, do you see that thing floating up there in the in the, in the picture? Yes. You know, that's my that's my masculinity, Becca. Hang on, let me get rid of that. Apparently that's no good. No, that's no it, good. It looks really toxic God, to me. Let me just, let me just We have a few feel, technical problems. Do you feel, do you feel safer now? <laughs> well, that is the, the main thing that strikes me about that, adver that infomercial advertisement from Gillette is, uh, I mean, they are pointing out what really happens. There are boys who bully. Uh, the Me Too movement started because the people are being raped. All, all of this is true. I don't think that can be denied. But the concept of toxic masculinity, that's the word that's now being bandied about. And it links toxic and masculinity as if, if you're masculine, you're toxic. And it's the same reason why I don't use the word patriarchy, because I prefer the word dominator system, because patriarchy implies, uh, you know, uh, the masculine and it's you know, controlling, and it's used in a way for all the ills of the world, whereas feminism, at least until recently, was used as like a saving grace. This is yet another battle in the war between the sexes. That's what strikes me more than anything else. Because frankly, when I looked at the video, the advertisement, I, all of my feminist parts were like, yeah, we don't like bullying, we don't like violence, People have suffered that forever. It's time to stop. I agree. And and yet my more egalitarian part and the fact that I'm rooting for men as much as I am for women was like, whoa, if, if I were a man, like the men in the mirrors at the beginning shot, they're looking like, ooh, wow, men are really getting slammed. What am I going to do? And I think a lot of men are feeling that way. Men are getting slammed. What are you going to do? So Gillette is saying, okay, we want to stop violence by supporting men's and, or boys and girls clubs in America and whatever. That, I think, is all noble. It's just that if it smears all men, which whether or not, it's debatable whether or not that advertisement does that, but people are taking it that way. And I think it's what I sense in this uproar in the fact that we're talking about it, is that we are so sensitive now about the abuses in the dominator system. And women are so sensitive about how they have been raped, abused, disrespected, as has the planet. And men are so sensitive about all of the abuse that has happened uh, that the ti tiniest little incursion one way or the other and people flip out. The truth is that everybody is abused in the dominator system. Everyone is made to be a victim. If you look at statistics on domestic abuse, if you look at the police records, it's pretty much 50-50 uh, woman on man abuse and man on woman abuse. And yet, how many women's shelters are there? I think there's like, I don't know, 4,000, 6,000 women's shelters in the United States. How many men's shelters are there? One. But wait, if the statistics are that domestic violence is happening more or less equally, I think it's like 48% uh, violence against men and 52% violence against women. And who knows exactly if, how those statistics are because... Many women don't report it. We know that. And many men aren't going to report, hey, I got beat up by my wife. So, uh, but, the, but the fact is that abuse happens, violence happens equally to men and women. So 
I would like people to react to this Gillette video by saying, yeah, that bullying, we got to stop across the board. Everybody, we've got to get out of the violent dynamic. That's the main thing that strikes me. Yeah, I mean, if it was a video that was just that had men and women in it being a holes, and they were like, "Hey, everybody, let's just treat each other wonderfully and stop being dick," I'd be like, "Great, everybody, go buy Gillette razors, best company in the world." But that's not what the video was. It was it was men. It was specifically, basically saying, "Men, you're all a bunch of shitheads. Masculinity is toxic, and basically, go get sex operations, chop your dick off, or go become a woman because men are no good." That video can be shortened to "Men suck." It really can. You can shorten that video to men's sex. So that's how it came across. I don't know what their intention was, but either they're grossly, grossly incompetent and just hired the most completely the worst person in the world uh, to make the video, or it's or they did it on purpose to to push buttons. Or there's a lot of women that work at the company because women are very they've they've had their consciousness raised. The Me Too movement says, "Hey, I can speak up now." about my boss that asked for a blowjob for me to get promoted. And I can speak up about being groped in the, you know, hallway. So the, it has, the Me Too movement has unleashed a huge amount of anger in women. And women are like, just shut up and we have to vent now. Okay, fair enough. Now let's move on. Because men will also have to vent. They have also been abused. And so the reason I think people are taking this so uh, personally is because... Because they have penises. They were born with... They were unlucky (laughs) enough to be born with a penis. And now they're taking it personally. That's right. And because it's happening in the context of the war between the sexes. So you're either pro-women or you're pro-men, and there's no middle ground. Well, that's the dominator culture, which puts false dichotomy out all the time. That's one of their tactics. I mean, their main tactic is you're either a predator or a victim. So, you know, either way, that's a terrible position to be in. And another one of their tactics is false dichotomy. So if someone's getting hurt, it must be because of toxic masculinity. No, wait a minute. It's because of the whole system, which is based on force or the threat of force. You either follow the rules or else. Violence, fear, uh, that's the, the whole atmosphere of what the war between the sexes is. And I'd like to get it out of the war. Could we please have some compassion? I think a solution would be If Gillette, because Gillette doesn't just make razors for men, they make razors for women, the Venus razor. Not that I've seen one for some decades, but anyway, I'm one of those hippie chicks. Uh, What if they did an advertisement or infomercial for Venus razors talking about women who take their men to the cleaners in a divorce women who falsely accuse, and they could name it like, don't be a bitch, or whatever, you well, know? This is, this is what many other, you know, people on TV and whatever YouTubers have pointed out. Can you imagine the reaction if anybody, Gillette or anyone else, made a, hey, let's stop toxic femininity, bullying, uh, you know, using guys for money, divorcing somebody and taking all their shit, even though, and like, even though you did no work and sat on your ass for 15 years smoking cigarettes, and the guy was worth 40 million. And, and I mean, and then you take the and, kids too, and, and take the kids. And yeah. let's not forget false paternity. You know, the the paternity claims where they get pregnant on purpose. I mean, there's abuse. There's, there's yeah. There's people out there doing horrible things, but it's because people are low frequency, but in fear, and and are just in in a horrible place because they're they're trapped in a in a brutal system that uses central banking to essentially and propaganda to enslave everybody, men and women. You're all you're all nothing. You're all nothing in the system. You're all just a little little speck. All of us. Well, the, the you're the workforce. You're the slaves. You're the slaves. We're all the slaves. Yeah. So. So the solution is wake up and get out of the system. But it's not its not to fall into this, this war between men and women. But uh, Gillette certainly 
have fallen for it. They they just they just shot themselves in the foot. I think this boycott's going to be huge. I don't think it's going to be like this is one of those. Oh yeah, it was fine. They went away. No, no, their business will go down. Their sh- I think their stock price is going to crash, and millions of people will stop using their razors. I think that's how big this is. I really, I don't think they will be forget forgiven, not by many. And yet, I agree with their message. Bullies should not bu- bully, yeah. and uh, pe- men sh- or women, nobody should rape anybody. And uh, I'd like for us to work together, like, let's come together and figure out where this violence comes from. I mean, they are saying, if you click on the thing at the end of their infomercial, what their whole campaign is about, they're supporting boys and girls clubs to give positive role models for girls and boys. I don't know if all of that got communicated because of the focus on men, but maybe they will do that uh, Venus ad for don't be a bitch you think i'd like to make it it would co- it would co- like i know how to do it and it would cost a bit of money and I like if, you, if people send me bitcoin i'll make the video if if i get listen all right i'm gonna say this right now if i get twenty thousand dollars in bitcoin donations i'm gonna make that video uh it's gonna upset a lot of people right <laughs> <laughs> but i like to i love my shit disturbers so i'd like it um what was the other thing i was gonna say um yeah, if they, yeah, it's 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 really. I find it very manipulative how uh, corporations will try and you know use this whole. Oh yeah, we're giving money to charity, so we're good. You make billions of dollars, and then you're giving like a million dollars to charity. You're just doing it for PR. Like, who takes that even seriously? But their website said we're giving a million dollars to 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 um, you know companies or whatever that that empower men. And I'm like, great, Infinite Man Summit. We actually empower men. Give us your money. And then for a second, I was like, oh, no, that would be really bad. If Can you imagine Infinite Man sponsored by Gillette? I was like, no, at this point, I don't think I, I have to not take that money. Or like ruin the company. But anyway, uh, I'm just curious to see if we're going to continue to see ads like this and other campaigns like this that are so horrible and, and, and frankly, anti-men. The consciousness raising, great. Abuse goes on. Let's stop it together. Let's work together. That's my message in um, my book, Venus and Her Lover, Transforming Myths, Sexuality, and Ourselves. My partner, James, and I have worked for years to put out our own example of how a man and a woman can work together and how we can work together as a society and how, of course, we focus on sexuality, bringing more peace to the bedroom. So uh, if men and women could instead of focusing on, oh, if that's talking about how men abuse, then it's toxic masculinity. If we could just focus on the few people that are abusive and violent, yes, let's work on correcting that problem. It's it's both girls and boys. It's both men and women. The problem is if they did that, they'd have to put away most people in government, the elites, uh, the, the, you know, like that's what that that's the thing. So, oh, let's put away the worst people that are really doing all the bad. Okay, so, so all the central bankers, all the elite families, they're all just be put away. No, they're not going to do that. They want to put. They want it. They just want to make everybody shut up, hate each other, and fight everybody, and just shut up and pay your taxes. And it's working really well. I think they're doing a great job. I think the oppressors are doing such a good job. Man, you know what? They deserve your. They deserve fifty percent of everything you make. They deserve. They deserve eighty nine percent of everything you make because you're dumb enough to pay them. I love. I love this. I love the Matrix. It's so wonderful giving your money to warmongers. It's so good funding people who are bombing people, innocent people to death every day. That's a great system. Great planet. Love it. Oh yeah, yeah. It's the war system. The war machine is one of the main, you could say, arms of the dominator system. And the, see, the war between the sexes and the Me Too movement is very, it must be making them nervous because it's dangerously close to finding out more information about pedophilia and how rampant it is, especially in the upper levels of government and business and religion. So if if it can be... De- Religion? Talk to a priest. Pedophilia? Okay. Come on, Becca. You're just one of those conspiracy theorist people. I know. Go, go to Ireland. Okay. Talk to those Catholics. I'm sorry about her. I won't bring her on here anymore, guys. I won't. But next thing she'll be she'll be saying that they're they're putting things in the in the food and water to make people sick, and that EMFs are bad for you, and that they're even spraying things in the sky. I mean, guys, this is the last time. I promise. I promise. <laughs> Hope you got your fingers crossed. 
in any case, uh, if they can divert the attention of the Me Too movement, that because the following the clues will lead to the trail of pedophilia. I mean, they have to do that because it would expose the, our whole system. So if they can just keep the war down here between normal men and women, between uh, and keep it the war between the sexes rages on, us fighting each other, uh, I'm not going to trust him, he's not going to trust me, then they're, they will succeed. False dichotomy. Let's please work together. I'm just not. Gonna, I'm just not going to say anything else. There's so there, and 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 the hypocrisy of like if you actually look at their this is the, this is the I wrote this down because I don't I don't want to misquote but it's literally on their uh in, it's in the video and it's on their website and it's their official slogan and it's so it's amazing this is what it says <clears throat> uh, we believe in the best in men and it's only by challenging ourselves to do more than we get closer to our best. Well, I think you're doing a great job, Gillette. You're doing a great job by shaming all men and f throwing freaking petrol on the war between the, the the sexes and making everybody hate each other. You're doing a great job. You're really as inspiring me as a man to be my absolute best. Uh, the only thing that you've actually made me realize is the way I can actually do that is to, to do everything I can to make sure nobody ever buys a Gillette product. To me, that's part of me being my best because you're an evil company and you do horrible things. And, and, and if you actually go into some of their products, they're horrible. They're like Colgate, oh yeah, fluoride-filled Colgate, great. All, the, all, all Just toxic chemicals, Tide, toxic chemicals. You're literally killing people. They're killing people, why are we? You're literally killing people. That's how you make your money. You are part of the problem. But th thanks, th thanks for helping me as a man become my best version of myself. I really, I'm done, I can't talk to these guys anymore. I'm done. So anyway. Peace, love, and all that stuff. One more thing. I do think that men should try to be their best. I think women should try to be their best. And I just want to thank you, Sasha, for everything you do with the Infinite Man Summit and the programs and coaching you put out for men to be, become their best. Because, yes, that's what we should be. That's why I get angry because I've been doing it for 10 years. And then they come along like, hey, you guys are trying to make men better. It's like... I what are you talking about? It, it, it's just, it's just wrong. It's just wrong what they've done. It's wrong. But fortunately, they need your money. So st don't give it to them. And maybe they'll get the message. I don't know. <sighs> just love everybody. Or let your hair grow. Unless they've got toxic masculinity syndrome, then just stay away from them. Yeah. All right. See you later. Peace. Love you.